I bought this beautiful old Philips radio from the 80s, perhaps the 70s, I don't know that exactly, on a flea market today, Queen's Day, or now we have a king, King Alexander, William Alexander, and today he was crowned as a king. But uh, there's always uh, a lot to do on uh, this uh, day and I bought this radio for 3 euros so not much beautiful old Philips radio made with ger germanium transistors you can see them here the AD162 and here the AC187 and the AC1 Eight, eight. They are the driver transistors that drive these uh, germanium transistors. And here, the red dots here are temperature stabilizing resistors because it's all made with germanium and germanium is very temperature sensitive. So, beautiful old layout. I don't know exactly what this is, but, but I think it's the EF amplifier from medium wave and short wave. Here the antenna, uh, long wave antenna, uh, medium wave antenna and short wave antenna here on the ferrite rod. Made with Litzer wire, high quality wire. And here's the audio filter circuit that precedes the end amplifier here and this audio filter has very good properties um, it amplifies the bass frequencies a lot so you can set all uh, the typical sound color that you like I want to demonstrate it now a little bit perhaps it will be successful That's Whitney Houston, of course. We all know her voice. But uh, what I wanted to point out is this. In such a radio you find all kinds of lights here. That light at the back side of the screen. And often uh, the dial. And often these lights are not available any longer. And an easy way to replace these uh, incandescent lights is with a light emitting diode. Now I show that here. So take a lamp like this, break the glass and solder inside the lamp two wires. Hope it's visible now. Uh, here you see it in the middle of the screen. I've soldered two wires to the base from the lamp the metal base and screw the metal base into the socket and connect a series resistor here and a white LED and with such a white LED you can replace all these old um, incandescent lamps and it works properly and of course the endurance from such a white LED is much more compared to this uh, simple uh, incandescent lamp. This lasts for approximately two years, but the LED will last for, let's say, ten years or so. So it's a way to replace lamps in old uh, radio circuits. Often in antique radio circuits, circuits this doesn't work because these lamps are often 24 volts in antique uh, radios. So you have to study it and you have to know the schematic uh, before, before you decide uh, to replace such, such a lamp by a LED. Uh, 